Todd, you're back again. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. You know, I was uh, complimenting you guys to a friend of mine the other night, and again, we kind of have been doing this around the same amount of time. And I said, you know, early on in the early days, we knew you guys, and you guys hadn't blown up yet. And you were up, and your first song was what, uh, 19 You and Me? Yeah. The first yeah. song? And I was like, it brought them in, and they sang, and they were so good. And every time they would come in and they would perform, I would be reminded just how much better they were than everybody else. And it, but it would take you guys <sighs> to keep coming in. And we had a, a, an artist come in that was so good. I was like, that's almost reminding me of what Dan and Shay would remind me every time they would come in. Like, you guys were just consistently so good that inevitably I felt, and I'd said this to you guys too, that you would just blow the crap up. And you have. You guys are, are killing it right now. Thank and you, man. Thank and it's, you, uh, man. It's, I'm glad to have you guys in today because you got a new song out. And you got Justin Bieber on the song. Yeah. So. First of all, thank you for those kind words, man. <laughs> yeah, I hope dude. our label was listening. That, that felt really good right there. That's they awesome. never, they guys, never listened. Seriously, thank you guys, all of you, for, for being there for us since the beginning. You guys are a huge part of the success that we're having. So thanks for always believing in us. And we've had some good times. We've done a lot of funny covers. We did Savage Garden. Wait, that was the things. first thing. That was who he compared you to. I said, yeah. well, I was being funny. I said, they're like country <laughs> Savage Garden, meaning you guys can really sing. There was emotion. We came it, in the next day and did and it. did it. It was <laughs> like old school. It was awesome. Yeah. And then you guys did Boys to Men. Which is how, in a funny way, that I'm, and it's, it's all ties in. This is great. You guys came in and did Boys to Men one day, crushed it. And your manager was watching that on YouTube and then said, Hey, <laughs> I'd also like to work with you in television. I know I'm managing them, Bobby, but why don't we do a TV show together? It's awesome. And then that's kind of how it all came. But that same manager awesome. has Justin Bieber. It's full circle. But it's all the Here same. Here we are. This is it. This is the moment. <laughs> so tell me about this. I, I'm, I'm curious about how this whole thing came together. Man, we're fired up. Justin's always loved country music. We've crossed paths a few times, and we've, we've had some interesting experiences. I think we met him for the first time, Austin, Texas, South by Southwest. It was like a little event, and we got up and sang together. I don't remember what we sang. A bunch of cover songs. A lot of things. Yeah, and... Uh, Kind of connected a few times in the past, and we thought this song when we wrote it. We wrote it here in Nashville with Jordan Reynolds, who we did Speechless and Tequila with, and our good friend Jesse Joe Dillon, who's an incredible songwriter, has had a bunch of hits. Dean Dillon's daughter, who, if you don't know who Dean Dillon is, has like every country hit ever. Uh, we wrote it with them, and we were like, this would be a crazy idea. And like you said, we have a mutual manager, Scooter Braun, and we sent it to him. We're like, yo, this is a wild idea. Like, just in case, you know, he reacts to it, like, this would be insane to do this song with Justin. Sent it to him, and like right away, Justin reacted to it. He's like, let's do this song together. Uh, he worked on a few lyrics, like changed up a few things, made it his own, and ended up recording it. And man, it's just like, I don't know, it's just been godsend. It's crazy, the timing of it. He just got married a couple days ago, and the song's coming out. It's literally like, I don't know, it's, it's insane. So here we are, man, we're fired up. So we were talking about uh, the Justin Bieber wedding, because I didn't know, Dan, that you and Abby were going. And, you know, it just popped up my Instagram, and I was like, yeah. what the crap? They're at Justin Bieber's wedding. <laughs> did you and Hannah go? We did. Okay, yeah, so we you're all there. at the wedding, and I come in, and here's the struggle for me. Is I don't know <laughs> what I can often say if I know it away from sure. what's happening in country music. So I tend to go, don't, I'm not saying anything. I didn't yeah. talk about the Bieber. <laughs> As it had been leaked, I knew. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, I can't say anything because you guys are too good of friends of mine to be out spoiling crap that I shouldn't Thank be spoiling. You. And so, but then Amy goes, um, Abby called you. Well, Dan's I was with wife. Abby. Oh, yeah. She, okay. Well, yeah. and I saw, are you about the wedding part yeah. of it? Okay. So, yeah. I guess we were texting about the beautiful people thing we were at together. Yeah, and, yeah, And, which, shout out to your wife. And she, then she was like, I'm trying to figure out a dress for a wedding. Like, and so she sent me pictures of her two options. Yeah. And so then I'm, she's like, oh, I should have raided your closet. So then I'm in my closet pulling out dresses. Oh, my God. And I sent her <laughs> I some didn't know pictures. About this. And she's like, no, no, it, they're requesting it has to be long, like black tie long. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, oh, well, these won't work because they were shorter. But I had no, I mean, obviously, I mean, she wasn't. She didn't even say, text. I need a dress say, for Justin Bieber's right, wedding. No, she didn't say. <laughs> and so then I show my husband the two options. He chose, the. he voted, and she was leaning towards the black one yep. with the slit and the black Yeah, that was my vote, too. And I told her, I said, and my husband's oddly really good at this, yeah. especially shoes. So if you ever need He's help, a good-looking like, guy. Text <laughs> yeah, him. He's got it together. So that's what we picked out. And then when I saw y'all's pictures, on, yeah, I saw, and I was like, oh, sweet. That. Nice outfit, and it was for Justin Bieber's <laughs> wedding. Very subtle. In Very VD. Subtle. In VD. Did you have to, did you do the old, you can't say anything about going, or what, you can't say anything much about you're there, the old sign the paper? <sighs> It, it was kind of, because it's very interesting to get, like, get used to being, you know, around that kind of, that level of fame. It's crazy. There's always, like, paparazzi around, like, everywhere that he goes. Like, they follow him from his house. So it's always, you do think about that, like, all right, 
I, I tend to lean on the, I'm just not going to say anything until other people are talking about it. But uh, yeah, we didn't really tell anybody, you know, where we were going. And I'm sure for like our friends and family, we're like, so where are you guys headed? Like, oh, we're just headed off to this like little shindig, you know? No <laughs> idea. Like, then they see it later. They're like, how dare you not tell me you were going to well, Justin Bieber's That's wedding. how I felt seeing your Instagram. They were like the Biebers. I was like, did they, is it, they do a, par- <laughs> so a parody <laughs> picture? <laughs> yeah. Photoshopped it yeah, in. Yeah, I thought like, are they doing yeah. a parody picture from Bieber's yeah, wedding? Just big fans of the wedding. Was it just famous people <laughs> everywhere? We were by far the least famous people there. Yeah. Like the paparazzi, we would walk past them and they'd be like, yeah, it must be just employees at this. <laughs> do you guys know game. when the celebrities are going to be here? Yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. They should be coming uh, behind us. It was fun. crazy, man. We ended up like in the TMZ article, it kind of leaked the news about the song and the collaboration before we announced it. It was all good, though. We were in the first paragraph. It was like, spotted at the wedding was Kylie Jenner. Performing music was Dan and Shay. They're <laughs> like, like, what? Who is Dan and Shay? Oh, you guys played at the wedding? Yeah, we sang a few songs. Yeah. What'd you sing? We did uh, Speechless. Savage Garden? Yeah, we did yeah come on, Garden. come on. We did Speechless, Tequila, and then Justin just like came up to the stage, and him and Haley were like dancing, and he he did like a call like, all right, all the couples to the to the dance floor. And uh, yeah, we ended up singing uh, 10,000 Hours. Oh, you did We had song. never done it before live, so yeah. we were just like... A little bit. We, we got through it. It was good. But luckily, there were no phones there. I think there were a few exceptions, probably for the extremely wealthy people there who have, like, four phones for situations like that. <laughs> sure, take my phone, lock it up, and then they have another one. Yeah. Their burner. Do you get there early just to make sure that you're not late? I was very aware of that. When yeah. we were getting ready, I was, like, texting you. I was like, yo, we got to get to the chapel. Like, we don't want to be the guys... <laughs> Rolling in late. Sneaking to, in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holding up Bieber's wedding. So we got there early. We sat very politely. I just didn't want to cause a scene. I didn't want, like, people to be like, who is this fool right here? And, you know, I was just very, like, tried to blend in. I feel that way because on American Idol, everybody's so famous except for me. Because You're it's, pretty famous. But I'm not. It's like, you, <laughs> for example, I would compare you guys to being at, at Bieber's deal. Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, Luke yeah. Bryan, Ryan Seacrest. More, four of the most famous people, period. Yeah, yeah, And true. I'm like moderately known in regional areas. There's a big difference <laughs> in Regionally there. famous. And so I just try to show up early and, and don't even blip the radar. Yeah. Because I don't want to be bothersome. I'm just lucky to feel like I get to be in the same room with them. Yeah. And it, But sometimes I look around and I go, holy crap, I cannot believe I'm with all... Did you guys feel like that? Did you look around and just that go, holy was crap? the whole night for me. Like We were sitting at this table and they had this really nice dinner brought out. And across from me was Usher... And then next to, to him was, was, yeah, was, was Chris uh, Jenner and her boyfriend. And there was just like all these insanely famous, because there's like, you know, there's well-known people. Like a lot of people would, would consider us like to be famous. Like we have, you know, people know who we are regionally. We're not famous. We're not famous. <laughs> I got to just clarify when you, that. Yeah, when you, when you walk into a room and you see Chris Jenner and, and Usher, you're like, oh, that's, that was what's that's famous. Fame, yeah. Got it. Justin Bieber is famous. But uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was an amazing experience to be there and just kind of, be there in that situation. It's a lot different being around, you know, really, really famous people in a situation like an award show or some other setting. But there it was a very comfortable environment and everyone was like, it wasn't so on edge of, you know, there was no, oh, this is why I belong here and, you know, all that stuff. So it was cool to be there in that, you know, that kind of atmosphere. We're it was funny timing actually with you guys being in, you were in Savannah, right, mm-hmm. for American Idol. I, when we were flying in, we were just like, we Googled Justin Bieber wedding. We were curious who was going to be there. Like, this is crazy. Who <laughs> can we funny. get a picture with? <laughs> and then we, we were actually looking to see if our, name, our names weren't on the list, of the people that were going to be there. But it was like, Katy Perry has arrived for Justin Bieber's wedding because we all flew into Savannah. Same airport. We didn't fly into the private airport. We were on the commercial, you know, <laughs> doing our thing. But it was like, Katy Perry has arrived. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. Katy Perry's going to be there. It turns out that everybody was flying in for Idol oh. in the same place. Yes. So they're like, Lionel Richie, timing. Luke Brother, all sitting at a table ready yeah. for Justin Bieber to sing on American <laughs> Idol. That's Everybody, crazy. Man. Seeing yeah. all like the rumors and stuff is pretty funny when you look those up about like the stories like, oh yeah, this person was, was invited, you know, Katy Perry's going and all this stuff and those people weren't there, but it was, it was pretty funny to see the rumors of people like, oh, they land at the airport, they're obviously going to the Bieber wedding. That's how you know you made it. Yeah. When you're yeah, when like you're being rumored somewhere. to be somewhere. Yeah. Oh, cool. What's up with trying to get a picture with somebody super famous when you're at a wedding when everybody's famous? It's kind of weird to ask, right? Yeah, we did, did you? <laughs> we got one with Usher, which oh, yeah, was pretty yeah. sick. There was a photo booth, like literally this photo booth. This guy was more serious than any photographer we've ever worked with at any like any of our <laughs> wacky photo shoots. I mean, he was like, it was it like was. ten minutes per photo. He was like lining us up like in this. the booth. Oh yeah, it was supposed it was to cra- be like fun. Yeah, yeah. but the, the photos looked beautiful though. It like, was. Everything was really cool. And then Usher was standing there. And we're like. Actually, Abby wanted a picture with Usher really badly. This is like her dream. She like went to an Usher concert when she was 12. She was too like nervous to ask. I was like, yo, Usher, like we're tight now, right? Can you get a picture with my wife? He's like, yeah, jump in. I was like, no, I'm not going to be in this one. It's just you two. So 
I had to uh, go dig in for that photo. It, it really was it. like the most ridiculous like setting. Like there was a table and there's a thing. This guy was taking it so seriously. He was unreal. His name was, was Dennis. It was incredible, yeah. And he'd walk up and you'd get up to the table and he would just go, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I was just like, oh my God, like, this is about to be like either the best experience of my life or one of the most awkward. And he would sit there and he'd literally take to the point of where he was kind of like grabbing your face and going, okay, right there, a little bit to the right. And then you were just like, The one of okay. us, I think he had my arm like up underneath your arm. I was like, this is going to look yeah. terrible. I looked at I was like, that's okay. That's like, not, it's not bad. bad. Yeah, we were interlocking. Imagine yeah. being a guy that owns a photo, like a photo booth and being told you're going to do Justin Bieber's wedding. That's the guy who yeah. has the best life. He's That's pretty crazy. It. Yeah. He yeah. probably got paid pretty good for that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. What do I want to ask you guys? The Grammys. Did you guys get it in the mail yet? We did. Do you have it? Yeah. You have yeah. the physical yeah. Grammys? We do. Yeah. That was a crazy, it was almost like experiencing all over again because you don't get to take them home. For anybody who does, didn't know that already, any award show, like you don't actually get the physical, you don't get to carry the one that you take on stage. And so you get them in the, in the mail, like probably. Six months later. It was about nine months later. Yeah, it was a long time. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. a while. It was like right before the next Grammys we'll get it. Yeah. But yeah, that was a crazy experience getting that in the mail. And there was, there was also like a watch that came with it, which I didn't know. A watch? Yeah, there's like a Grammy watch. They have Dan they and Shay on it? Is there like an yeah. inscription too? Like on yeah. the back, it says like, yeah, the award and like Dan and Shay. Or like our names. I think it had my name oh, on it. That's, that's crazy. Cool. Yeah. Who knew? Well, let me ask you guys a really important question because I think you guys are the guys to answer it. So... If you're going on a date, and you said it like two weeks oh prior. Gosh. What? what? <laughs> Listen to this. Yeah, no, no, no. This, is, this, one? Okay. this is a great question. Okay. Okay. And I'm, don't, let's not lean them into anything. I'm not leaning. I'm just telling them And they'll give attention. us their honest truth because they're friends. Don't. Let's say <laughs> a couple weeks ago, hypothetically speaking, I set up a date with this girl. Okay. okay. You set up a date look, with yourself or you set her up with somebody else? No, no, with me and her. Okay, okay. We, we'd been out once quickly at lunch. Okay. They went on a date. Oh, it, yeah. it, it, you've okay, turned we went on, it we went on a lunch yeah, date. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We went on a lunch date, okay? okay? And so I say, hey, in a couple weeks, I'll be gone for a couple weeks, but I'll be back in town on this Tuesday. Let's go on a date. Sure. She's like, cool. I hit her up on Friday and go, hey, we're still, up, we're still good for the date on Tuesday, right? She's like, absolutely. Tuesday comes. I go, all right, cool. I've seen a couple hours. She's like, oh, I didn't hear from you from Friday to Tuesday. I thought it was canceled, so I'm not going to be there. And I was like, okay, so... What are your thoughts? Should I have checked in again after Friday? No, I don't think so. I think that's your busy guy. I think you did the right thing. I don't know. You're looking at she's me like, like, she's like, no, she's like, you're trying to hit Monday. Day. Yeah, here's, here's my thought on it. When you make plans, like if I were to say, all right, we're going to get together, like me and my friends, like, you know, we're going to get together on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. If my friends didn't text me and we made plans, I would be much more upset with the person who thought, assumed it was canceled. Just because are you getting I all didn't. flirty and giddy and excited with to go out with your friends? No, they're sometimes like, they're <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, so me and all sometimes, and I get very excited yeah. Yeah. and flirty. I'm like, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> How you doing? What are you wearing? So, <laughs> I checked in on Friday. Yeah. That was good, right? We I think that's good. Okay, that's just. A I, I feel like this is a this is a you know. So what time did you guys thought? What time did you reach out on Tuesday? <laughs> like, well, if the date was maybe noon kind of thing, or was it or a was lunch? I'm here. Where are you? It was a few hours before. Okay, but That's but we had acceptable. talked Friday. Like yeah. Tuesday's good. But yeah. He, okay. And then she was like, "Yeah, cool." And then Tuesday comes, and a few hours before, I was like, "Hey, we're here at the spot this time." She's like, "Oh, I thought we canceled. I didn't hear from you." So you I love that she plans. said we canceled. Yeah, no, we like, didn't oh, do we You got a mouse in your pocket? Who canceled? Yeah. No, 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 we, <laughs> we, because she was bringing friends. Okay, she was like, so, "Oh, I thought we canceled." Amy hates us now. No, I'm I don't. Sorry. No, you. Oh no, I. Bobby now has two people on his side. Like everybody. <laughs> it's else. us three against the world, yeah. guys. I'm okay with that. All right, we're gonna do great. Uh, Dan and Shay are here. Let me say this real quick. You guys are on uh, Tequila is on now. That's what I call music, which, by the way, is cool. But the fact that you're on volume 69. It's everything to me. Really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's it's everything. Yeah. Years. Yeah. My yeah. middle school self is just like beaming. Yeah. yeah. That's great. There there it was, it was is. weird like excitement. It also like kind of gave them like, oh, <laughs> nice. I think I put the angel emoji in a, the caption on Instagram. <laughs> I had to, you know. Um, okay. Well. You guys are doing it again. You know, I'm your biggest fan. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I'm Thank proud you, for, I guess I'm proud for you because I just know how hard you guys work. And mm -hmm. when everybody else is, this is years ago, you know, people tour and they, they go on, they do Friday, Saturday shows and, thir and a little bit of Thursday. You guys are out doing Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and you're building from the grassroots. And it's just, I admire uh, the hustle again. with the talent. A lot of people hustle. A lot of people have talent. It's hard to get people with talent that also hustle. And I say it as sincerely as I possibly could. Like, you ever need me? I got you. You don't, but yeah, Nimi, I got you. But I'm really proud well, for you, you guys man. because I've just seen, I've just seen it, and it, you know, it takes. I don't have the talent, but I have the hustle. And it takes hustle to know a hustle, and so <laughs> I love to see you guys blow up. It's just, it's amazing. 
I love the song. Thanks, I man. I was so sensitive about it. Dan's like, this a few days ago. He's like, you want the song? And I'm like, nope, don't want it. <laughs> I said it to you. I was like, I, I, I you. you did, but it's I was like, I don't want it because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want any risk of me having any issue it getting leaked. I get my phone hacked by somebody in Russia and it's out because <laughs> of me. And he's like, I'll send you my link. I was like, and then he was still like, no, you're taking it. Boom. I love it. And, uh, but I just, I, I care about you guys. I'm glad to see you guys blowing up. Thanks, Thank you, man. man. It so. means a lot to hear you say those words. No one works harder than you, all you guys. So, yeah, we're, oh, you guys got a new studio. Things are going real yeah, this well. Is this wonderful. is really nice. We built it last week just for you guys. It's beautiful. <laughs> the Dan and Shay Memorial we're Studio. Like, guys, we got yes. to step up the game. This All is right. incredible. Here they are, Dan and Shay. Uh, we're playing the song every hour. It's called 10,000 Hours. And uh, I'll see you guys probably next at the CMAs if we don't see you around town at Taco Mamacita. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's do it. All right, there they are. Dan and Shay, everybody.